Hey there guys and welcome back to another episode of Factorio Space Exploration. I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me. And uh, it's been a little bit, I've been really busy doing some other stuff um, on the side, been trying to earn a little extra money doing some stuff and uh, just tons of things to do. Uh, but we're here and I'm excited, quite a bit has been done, that's also the other reason it's been a while because um, I wanted to make sure we got quite a bit of stuff done off camera so we're ready to do some things on the episode. Um, and I want to give a huge thank you and shout out to uh, several of my uh, patrons and subs who uh, came on and helped um, and, and did a lot of work while I was not here. Um, I'm not going to name them specifically because some people may not want that. Uh, and I don't remember everybody who worked on it. Um, but a lot got done. They did an awesome job. So basically, um, cleared out a ton of eiders which is awesome. Um, also set up... It, wait, I paused because is this... Oh, those are bodies. <laughs> I was like, did someone Did someone besides me set this up? I knew I set up the... Uh, okay, sorry. Um, so they clear a ton of biters. Um, they set up this iron patch. It's a 25 mil iron patch um, with tons of turrets around it, lasers out the ying, which is awesome. Does a way better job than I do. Powers cut or something. Is this like smart controlled? Why is there no power? What? So confused. Okay, well this got cut somehow. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there's iron here which comes down um, and then comes over t to, 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 to here and then down or yeah, and then another junction is here and it comes over and ties into more steel smelters, which they set up, which is awesome. A huge um, scaffolding build here, which is fantastic, as well as a large robo frame build over here. Um, and also nuclear is set up, which is awesome. So uranium um, is tapped here, um, being supplied with stuff, uh, as you can see. Got stuff coming in here. I'm not sh quite sure why there's fuel in there, but... Uh, uh, the uranium is here, which comes over um, over to here, drops off. They even concreted this. Man, so much work. We have nuclear power set up. It just doesn't have fuel because we don't have something yet or something. <laughs> Not sure why there's no fuel. Um, I'll have to check on that. Um, why, why actually, why isn't there any fuel? So this is smart control. Maybe it's just because we don't need it. Um, but there's like 800 megawatts worth of power here. So just a huge thank you to them. And what we're going to do today, though, guys, is we're going to go up into space and we're going to build some space machines. So on the last stream, which I did upload, or you can check it out on Twitch, my other streams, is we unlocked a bunch of stuff to the point where we can get beacons um, almost except for the special pinkish packs here that we need. So to make these pink packs, it's a super, super involved process. Um, you basically need this significant data, energy insight, and cold thermo fluid. And to get those, um, to get the uh, energy insight, you need an energy catalog, which is this, and the cold thermal fluid. To get the cold thermal fluid, you need to like do different fluids, which gets kind of involved. Um, and then to get this, you need one of every single one of these cards, which takes blank data for all of them, plus, excuse me, plus other stuff like this ion stream and uh, uranium and stuff like that. The blank cards aren't that hard. They're just polished data things and red circuits. And these are super simple. Um, but then the, the tough part comes in because now we have this, which needs plasma stream. The plasma stream needs stone and chemical gel. The chemical gel needs petroleum and this. And then this needs water and lubricant. <laughs> um, but we need a ton of buildings. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up there and we're gonna make some of these buildings. A lot of them cannot, can only be made in the space manufacturing, which I've made one of. Um, but if we take a look here, so we need this blue looking thing, the green looking thing, the red looking thing, <laughs> and the electricity looking thing. Um, so we need this electromagnetic laboratory. Um, I'm gonna actually just make a bunch of these because uh, we need them for pretty much all of that. Um, and then the green thing, did I like somehow not? Um, this requires fuel cells and chemical plants and stuff like that. The blue, the red one requires low densities and glass and some stuff. Uh, and it was, wasn't there like a blue one? 
Oh, there's a blue one. Where's this one? Here he is. So that requires a laser. So we just need to kind of get a bunch of stuff together and go out there. And we also need this hypercooler for these liquids, which is pretty simple. I can actually make it. I just need to place the building, which has to be in space. Um, I believe we may also need... Yeah, we need this thing. And I think we need the plasma generator as well. Yeah, and then these are made... Okay, so basically, I'm just looking. So basically, what we need to collect... We, we're not going to be able to make everything this time. Um, but basically... Oh, I'll take that glass, though. I definitely need that. Um, I'm actually just going to stand here and grab a little more glass. Um, basically, I need to grab a bunch of... Uh, low... or... Uh, yeah, low-density structures. Some engines, some laser turrets... The uranium fuel cells are way up on the other part of the map, so I'm probably going to just wait on that part. Uh, but if we come on over here, find a belt where it's by itself. And there we go. Boom, 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 boom. I need a bunch of these. Uh, okay, so what else would we be missing? Chemical plants. I mean, I can just make a bunch of chemical plants. Uh, let's see. These guys need lasers, chemical plants, heat shielding. I have heat shielding? I don't think I actually have on me on, any on me. Um, let's grab some heat shielding too then. I do have some, but grab more. Uh, and then lasers, which should be automated somewhere? I'm like 90% sure someone automated them. I'm not sure where they went. Lasers. I may have to just make them on my own like a lot to make. I'm almost positive someone automated these. Oh well. We'll just grab a bunch of circuits and make them by hand. It's not that hard. And it's only some of the stuff that needs them anyway. There's like a pure belt here I can eat. 20 circuits a piece, man. Um, do we need batteries? Okay. They're definitely automated because someone placed a ton of them. Just not sure where everything is yet. Uh, and then maybe they're down here. Ah, yes, they're down here. Duh. And we also do need accumulators and solar panels on top of all that. Um, there's like a thousand uh, of the platforms of the scaffolding in the silo. Um, so really... What does this need? Engines? Motors? Actually, I don't have any motors. <laughs> Sorry! Uh, right, and then I just grab some batteries. Okay, so we're gonna go throw this stuff in the silo. Um, and actually, while I'm over here, I'm gonna take some of these parts, because we can, like, reuse them. I'm gonna get rid of... Well, no, we'll need that stuff, actually. It's fine. We'll just grab parts from up top. Those can sit there, no big deal. Um, and we're going to go up there, we're going to place these and see what we can do. Now, they do require a lot of power, um, so maybe... How much does this require? Two megawatts? I think I have enough solar panels for this stuff. Because the solar panels give, like, a ton of power up there. Considering they haven't all been killed by meteors. <laughs> Uh, so we'll just dump a bunch of this stuff in here. Dump those in there, dump that in there. Dump the accumulators. I'm gonna go run up here. What I should do is automate the loading of these structures too. There's just so much to do, guys. I haven't gotten around to it yet. I'm like, <laughs> there's just so much stuff to do. Uh, let's just dump all that in there. Oh, we definitely want to make sure we grab those space assembly thingies though. Um, oh, that's 48. This is actually going to be more than we need, but it's okay. This normal silo is still cool, but I got to say, this modded one, I almost like a little bit more. Okay, so we'll just take the extras out. Throw them back in a chest. And, which is probably filled up by now. We'll grab our stuff and go on up. Boom. Easy peasy. Um, except for, you know, the fact that... <laughs> ah, okay. Um, throw that there. I have a lot of those boxes everywhere. It's fine. 
Everything's fine. Okay, uh, so yeah, there's like a thousand scaffolding in here, which should be more than sufficient. Uh, we can't actually make much of anything. Did I like forget a box or something? Grab some motors just in case. Dude, where did the power go? I need glass. What happened to the glass? Oh, I put it in here. Okay, um, and then we just need the capsule. Boom. I'm gonna hop in. There's science in there, which is perfect. Um, there's not any more space. Oh, there's 400 space science. Okay, that's sufficient for a bit. We're not really doing any research at the moment. Orbit landing pad. And off we go, guys. Woo! -hoo! Never gets old, let me tell ya. Forgetting something, I'm always forgetting something. Um, so th these were these we put these here. These are expensive. Um, they got destroyed by meteors, probably, which really sucks. I'm not uh, okay. Let's go there. Um, so we need some solar panels. I think we can actually build these buildings, like, on the asteroid, which is pretty cool. Hello? Lagging a bit. I'm not sure how much potential power we actually have, but... Um, okay, so let me go ahead and grab what we need here. Just gonna grab... Grab this stuff. Okay, so this thing can actually be put on an asteroid, which is awesome. Um, and then we just need to tell it what to make. So we need, uh, I think we need one of these, right? Decontamination thing? Maybe not. Those are made in that. We did actually need one of those, okay. Nope, I don't want to. Thank you. Um, so here's a decontamination thing. Looks pretty cool. Um, I actually want to see the animation on this again. Um, this hypercooler we definitely need. I don't think I actually have everything. We need some pumps and a storage tank. Or some pipes, rather, and a storage tank. And how many? Like 30 pipes? Sweet. This is awesome, guys. Um, yeah, and then we can continue building out our space scaffolding for sure. Um, and there's 30. Oh, look at that! That's so cool! It's so fast, too. This thing um, has a crafting speed of 10, and you, you can put modules in it, but I don't believe you can beacon it. Um, I'm actually not going to leave these here because they're going to get killed by meteors while I'm gone, but this way we can kind of see what they're, they're looking like. Um, and then we also needed, like, we actually just needed pretty much everything. This needs pipes, doesn't it? Pipes. Okay, I don't have enough for that. Let's see. That needs pipes. Um, we do need one of these as well. Pretty sure we need the green one. Oh, can't do that. Um, blue one? Okay. These look so cool. And these all, I think, have animations, guys. This is awesome. Um, what about this one? Can we make this one? I think we're short on the low density structures, but I know we did need the laser one. Short on the pipes, though, man. These dang pipes. This is actually a lot, though. This is the majority. The only other things we're missing, I believe, are this thing, this thing. Uh, and this one. Pretty sure that's it. The electromagnetics one, I'm, I believe we actually needed. Um, so we can make that, too. And there better not be a meteor strike. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so cool. I love red. Red is one of my favorite colors, so I'm just, like, super excited about that. 
Um, accumulators. Did I burn through all of them? No, I did not. Aha! Dude, I love it. Oh, how cool is that? Oh my god! And I mean, like, yes, these don't match the Factorio graphics, but what you have to keep in mind is this isn't like Bob's Mods or something where it's still, like, all on the ground and still not matching. We are in space. Like, our technology has advanced enough to launch ourselves into space and build new and advanced buildings. So I think, in, this, in my opinion, in this particular case, it's okay for the graphics to not mod match the rest of the Factorio look. Because at this point, we are beyond that scrapping together tech. Can I? Oh, I can use this like concrete. Yes! Oh man, guys. So yeah, we're just going to expand this. It takes a ton. Um, but the fact we can actually build... Oh dear, there we go, flying. Um, the fact we can actually build on the asteroids um, is actually really important. That's like a huge plus. Get rid of that. So we will want some meteor defenses because if... Actually, can we build any? Shoot, I will want to build some because if this stuff dies, that's bad. Dang it! Why is Discord pinging me? Every time, guys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pick these up because <laughs> these are things I do not want to lose to meteors. Um, what we are gonna do though is I'm actually gonna do a quick chest transfer and I'm gonna grab all of our science packs. Uh, we're just gonna dump. Half there, half here, half that, half that, half that, half those. And then this one just gets all the rest. So that should last us for quite a while, unless those chests die, of course. Uh, there are like meteor storms, like when you're flying a ship, or just uh, random asteroids you can hit. So you actually need lasers for those, but I don't think that's really the case here. Um, I'm actually going to take all this, because again, this isn't protected by meteor defense. Okay. Um, right. So I should just use some of this. Um, so I don't really want to lease uh, valuable stuff in there. Oh no! Oh, you gotta be careful guys. Good thing I have my thruster suit. Otherwise I'd be in big doo-doo right now. I would make the brush bigger, but I'm not entirely sure how I want to do this yet. So I'm just expanding little by little. Mostly just trying to get stuff out of my inventory. Um, and I believe you can't pick it back up, just like concrete. So, I like holes in here? Random scrap, does that mean there was a hole there? No. Okay, guess we are making this bigger. Yeah guys, so I'm so excited. We finally have our space machines. Um, it is kind of unfortunate I came up without the materials to make the rest or meteor defenses because, of course, every time we come up here we have to launch a rocket, which gets kind of expensive, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, so, you can see we just used a thousand of it and we only build that much. And we need to build almost a mega base up here, so <laughs> it's going to be a little bit difficult. Uh, but, Thanks to all the help of people, we have a bunch of it automated. Okay, I think we're good to go, so I'm just going to hop in. Uh, and we're just going to go. I don't think there's anything else I can really build up here. We have a lot of those machines made, um, which is fantastic. Because that's basically... We're going to need multiples of some. Uh, because we'll need to like do different stages of the liquid stuff. So probably um, like some of these we're going to need multiples of. Definitely these things, but these we can actually make on the ground. So there you go, guys. That is that's that's what what I wanted to do this episode. I'm super I'm super happy. I'm super excited. You can I mean we're so close. You can tell how close we're getting now because we're actually making the machines, <laughs> and we have all the stuff unlocked for that first science, and then we can do beacons. Because um, people have been asking, you know, when are we doing the grid base? This spaghetti's getting kind of out of hand. And my answer is, I like beacons first. We want to have level 3 modules, but it's really hard for me to build any sort of mega base without beacons. Um, so, that's kind of the plan here. Anyway, I think that's going to do it, guys. We got some spaghetti rails going on, man. I love it. I hope they signaled this stuff. <laughs> I think they did. Anyway, 
thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Sorry for the delay between episodes. Sometimes life happens. Um, we're actually uh, doing decent here, catching up. Um, but I think that's going to do it. Until next time, I look forward to seeing you all. Leave your thoughts and stuff below. And until next time, uh, I will catch you later.